Alright, so it's been, I think it's been like three days since he got back from Oregon picking up my 280Z. And um, this car has been doing great so far. Like as you all just saw um, in the last video, the car drove six hours perfectly fine. And uh, I've been dailying it for the last three days. No problems. So here it is. Let's do a walk around. So since coming back from Oregon, I haven't done anything to this car yet, besides putting on these wheels, which I'm borrowing from that car over there. These are the track wheels, but I have my own wheels on the way. Uh, so let's take a look at the body. The car has been repainted, obviously. It's white, it used to be burgundy, but um, it's actually really straight. The paint, you know, it looks good, but it's not the greatest either. Like there's little bits of overspray and they missed this whole spot right here, but whatever. It's clean. I do have this badge. Just took it off for now. Yeah. Yeah, very clean. Especially for the price I paid. And on the interior, it's black interior, pretty much stock. Um, this dash mat's covering up this huge crack here, but whatever. Oh, this is a five speed too. Most of them are four speeds. It's got all the carpet, original seats. Everything works in here too. Let's take a look in the cargo area. Yeah, not bad. Came for a bunch of seats too. Like this thing has all new brakes and everything. Looks like this car used to have speakers at some point. But there's no stereo, no speakers, so I guess someone took it out. Uh, let's look under the carpet. Very clean, no rust. I've already had this car in the lift to look underneath, and the floor pans are solid. Let's get back into the, the trunk. Yeah, it's got all the carpets here. Um, yeah, I'm going to delete this antenna. Let's look under here in the spare. Once again, very clean. No rust or nothing. No bubbling. Yeah. So one spot of rust is right here. But that can be fixed. Andre, I got some work for you. Uh, yeah. Like even these uh, shocks work. All right, so I guess the last thing we can look at is the engine. So let's pop that open. Well, let's look in here first. So I think that's 152,000 miles. Uh, yeah. Alright, there it is, L28, single cam, fuel injection, previous owner replaced everything in the fuel system, so the injectors are new, fuel filter, fuel pump, all that's new, it's got new spark plugs and new wires, and uh, as I saw in the last video, we put the new radiator cap, new thermostat, and fixed this little hose here, so it is pretty dirty in here. Uh, I guess that's what you'd expect of a car that's old. But um, yeah, I'm gonna plan on deleting a bunch of stuff, cleaning things up. And yeah, it's got the original air box, air intake. And I did notice this exhaust leak right here. There's no stud. Um, I guess I might as well buy some headers. Get that replaced. Go on the other side. Yeah, it's got a fuel pressure gauge 
Oh yeah, and the other spotter for us is the battery tray. Uh, you can't really see, but there's a fat hole in there. So yeah, that's the only two spots of rust that I found. Uh, yeah, um, let's go ahead and start this thing up. So I just noticed this little sticker, and it's some brewing company out in Bend, Oregon. Which is where we just came from, getting this car. Uh, anyways, let's start this thing up. starts right up. Alternator works. These two gauges work too. Looks like oil pressure is good. And also, this clock works, which is, I guess is really rare, um, but it works. Uh, heater works. Yeah, everything works. Okay, maybe not everything. Tachometer doesn't work. But other than not, everything works. Uh, I guess the horn doesn't work either. It was working earlier. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so there's the Z. Um, I guess I can show the roof here. But uh, no rear view mirror. This little bracket's broken. Have it back there. I uh, gotta put the headliner on. Yeah, basically, I'm gonna put this interior all back together. I got a bunch of parts. Yeah, it came with all these parts here. So I gotta go through all of this, clean everything up, put it back in the car, and then uh, I'll update you guys here in a second. Runs really smooth. Yeah, you can hear that awesome. Uh yeah. So first thing to do is put the interior back together. Here's a quick before look. I think most of the parts go in here. It's still snowing, although not as heavy as before. Got a little bit piled up here. Uh, anyways, finished wrapping the car. Here's the trunk, nice and clean. And I also finished the driver's side and the passenger side. Nice and clean, complete interior too. Um, yeah. Oh, there's my registration. Just did that this morning. Got my washing plates too. Alright, I'm done working on the car for today. It's just too cold right now. But, we got a lot done today. Like, the whole interior is back together. Everything's cleaned up. And, you guys saw the condition of the car. So, let me know what you guys think of it. I mean, I think it looks pretty clean, and it runs and drives great. Also, I got the car for $3,000, which I think is a fair price. Only thing was, we had to drive six hours down there and six hours back, but I'd say it was worth it. But let me know what you guys think. Um, so, future plans for this car. Basically, I just want to keep it stock, clean looking. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to like cut up the body or anything. Basically, it would just, I'm just going to lower it, put, put on some different wheels, you know, some easy stuff. And also, I got to paint that uh, air dam, put on this car. I think I'll save that for the next video. So, yeah, that's it for today. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. See ya.